Final Cut Pro or DaVinci Resolve? Which one's actually better in 2025? I've edited it in both for client work, for YouTube videos, and everything in between. And I've tested them side by side on real projects. And in this video, I'll be breaking down the editing experience, color tools, performance, AI features, and the price to value for both of these programs. And if you're thinking of switching to Final Cut Pro or DaVinci Resolve, or just getting started, this video is for you. So let's start with the core, editing. Final Cut Pro is all about speed. The magnetic timeline is smooth, intuitive, and crazy fast especially for solo YouTubers and editors who want to move quickly and skip the micromanaging. DaVinci, it's more traditional. Think layers, tracks, precision. It's powerful, but there's a steeper learning curve, especially if you're switching from Final Cut or Premiere. If you're doing fast-paced social content, Final Cut Pro feels like butter. But if you're cutting a short film or a doc with multiple audio tracks, Resolve gives you precise control. So the verdict, Final Cut Pro is speed and simplicity, DaVinci, control and complexity. Next, color grading. This is where DaVinci absolutely destroys everyone. The color page in Resolve is studio grade. Nodes, scopes, qualifiers, tracking, all built in and better than anything else on the market for this price. You can match, balance and finesse with crazy precision. Final Cut, while it's improved in 2025, curves, LUTs, color masks, but it still feels consumer level compared to Resolve. If color is your thing or you're working on high-end productions, go DaVinci, period. Both Final Cut Pro and DaVinci Resolve are optimized for Apple Silicon, but Final Cut Pro still has the edge in real-time performance. On my M1 Mac Studio and even my M3 MacBook Pro, Final Cut Pro renders faster, exports quicker, and plays back smoother, even with a lot of effects on the timeline. DaVinci Resolve has gotten better with GPU acceleration and background rendering, but it can still hiccup with big projects and raw footage, especially on laptops. Also, Final Cut's integration with the Apple ecosystem is very tight. If you're all in on Apple, Final Cut Pro's workflow just snaps. AI is the new arms race, and both tools are stepping up. Final Cut Pro now has magnetic mask, auto captions, voice isolation, smart conform for reframing vertical videos, all super clean and native. DaVinci has magic mask, transcriptions with text-based editing, smart edit detection, and AI-based upscaling. Super useful, especially for filmmakers. The bottom line, Final Cut Pro's AI tools feel more designed for content creators, while DaVinci Resolve's feels like it's built for VFX and post houses. Final Cut Pro is a one-time $299 purchase. You buy it, you own it for years. DaVinci Resolve can be free and it's insanely powerful. But if you want fusion, noise reduction, HDR grading, you'll need to buy Studio. And that's a one-time purchase of $2.95, basically the same price. But DaVinci gets updates more often and Blackmagic throws in Studio for free if you buy their cameras or other hardware. So DaVinci wins on flexibility and value and Final Cut Pro wins if you're deep in the Apple world. So which should you use? If you're a filmmaker, colorist, or need pro tools and flexibility, DaVinci Resolve is the clear choice. Personally, I love using Final Cut Pro for YouTube and smaller projects, but for color heavy work or client projects, it's DaVinci all day long. In 2025, which one are you leaning towards using most? Drop it in the comments. I definitely wanna hear what's working for you. And if you wanna see the same video edited in both Final Cut Pro and DaVinci Resolve, make sure you check out this video where I did exactly that. Hit like if this helped you decide and subscribe for more no BS editing content. As always, thanks for watching.